Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another episode of Planet Crafter. Where in the last episode we started populating the whole world with a whole bunch of butterflies and yeah, definitely made a massive change around the world. I absolutely love it. And we started building our observation deck. Well, I don't know, our sky base. Now, some people have said that they like the style of the observation deck. Uh, a couple of improvements, maybe I can actually take away the outside rail um, and just make like the top of the roof like an observation deck that you can actually see without windows. Um, other people are like on the fence whether it's uh, actually necessary or not. Now I'm also kind of on the fence. I don't really know what is the use of this place except for maybe having to teleport up here once in a while just to kind of like see something on the map. I'm not sure what is going to be the use case because yeah, I'm just not sure how often I would actually be coming up here. Now the last thing was said in the previous episode was we were going to be setting up some kind of like mushroom factory here in the mushroom base. So we're going to try and do something like that today but I guess the base is going to have to be rearranged a little bit. Going to have to put a couple of platforms somewhere just to kind of build a couple of farms and hopefully yeah then we're going to be able to produce all of the mushrooms that we need okay so we're going to start here in the mushroom cave now we're going to start building our plastics factory now i had a little bit of a design inspiration and that was by tim cox now i did steal a little bit of like design inspiration from him like i saw a couple of his uh like the design of his mushroom base it looked kind of like a mushroom so i thought you know what that's a great idea maybe i can do something a little similar to what he's got so thank you so much for those ideas but first we're gonna have to start deconstructing our base over here now as you guys can see i've deconstructed a lot of the base already i've only got like the life support so we can at least get some well we can get water from the river as well as we got a little bit of a farm here so we got some food and we can get oxygen so i think i've got everything that i need i've got a whole bunch of materials here so i should be ready to start building on a base now I thought a good spot to start building a base is right here in the middle of the mushroom cave. Now I don't know, I thought that this area would be cool because there's this massive like mushroom growing up in the middle. So it's a pretty sweet spot. So yeah, let's get cracking with all the constructing. And bam, mushroom base is done. I'm loving the mushroom base so far. I think I like the look of it. It looks like a giant mushroom, if you use your imagination, <laughs> just a little. But yeah, I think I still need to put in a whole bunch of like glass windows at the top. And this lower deck is perfect for a whole bunch of like mushroom farms. As well as this room downstairs here. I think uh, this will come in handy if we just need to grab a little bit of oxygen while we're farming and it makes a little bit of a hatch all the way to the top. So the next thing I wanna do is start building some farms. So I think I've got everything I need for that. Let's just quickly go and double check. I think I should have a couple of larvas and I think that's, I think that's what I need. Uh, let's just dump those. Uh, I can't be sure now. Let's see, what do I need for a farm? Um, Seems like I've got everything. I might be missing a couple of things, but let's see how many we can build with this. So we've got this like pretty much open area here. So I thought of like basically just populating the corners. We can put one on either side over here. 
There we go. And I uh, can't put one there. Okay, well, I guess uh, compromises. Compromise. And okay, this one also has to like kind of mimic the same as that one. So those are four. Maybe we can put another one over here. Five. Nice. We still got enough for... Oh, I don't have another two waters somewhere. I think I might just have another two water. Uh, where is that? No more water? Oh, that sucks. Thought I prepared for this. Obviously not. Okay, well, five of those farms are going to have to do. You know what I can do? Is I can head over to the main base. And hopefully I can grab myself a couple of seeds as well as grab myself a drink of water. So, yeah. Cool. Nice to be back at the main base. Now, let's see. Um, the only seeds that I can think of is... Got this one. Well, I guess I need to take the mushrooms out first before I can grab the seeds. I've got these four. And I think I do have a couple of other seeds, like scattered around in some of the bases that i've made around the map so that's kind of cool okay we got four so long um oh what do we needed water <laughs> uh, i almost forget okay that should be enough let's get back to the other base okay so now that we're back here we can actually go ahead and populate all these mushroom seeds in the farm let's get that done and hopefully, okay, we've only got the four seeds, so that's going to give us 20 of the mushrooms, because I think it's five mushrooms per plot. So that's going to give us 20 mushrooms in total right now. I'm going to have to go see around the map if I can't find a little bit more mushroom seeds. So all the way here in the crater biome, I actually, I forgot that I, I actually have one of the seeds right here. So that's very convenient. At least we got one mushroom seed. As well as here in the canyon biome. There's also another one of these like mushroom seeds right here. That's awesome. Okay, so I wonder where else I can actually look. Okay, so I've looked around the map and I've managed to find six. Six whole seeds. So I think, I'm not sure how many farms I'm going to be able to make. Oh, come on. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to dump one of these seeds over here. Because I think that's going to be able to give us just enough farms to seeds like the whole farms to seeds ratio <laughs> i don't know what do you guys call it anyway so let's go and put these down i think that looks cool and maybe we can put another one here i i don't care right now I'm gonna make this whole thing like flush maybe oh come on can't squeeze in there <laughs> can you believe that okay not meant to be and uh, the next one can go right here and we got one more jeez how many do we still have okay so that's cool now we can populate this with a whole bunch of seeds do that quickly plant this in there oh there's already a seed there obviously i can notice if there's mushrooms or not this one's got nothing this one's got nothing this one also nothing so that's awesome uh this one i don't know if it's got any mushrooms in it no so this is the last seed that i need to put in this is awesome yes yeah, so we got a ton of mushrooms growing right now okay so let's get cracking with the interior so now for the interior i was thinking um we're possibly going to need some kind of a bio lab now, I think I might have everything I need for a bio lab. Let's check. Uh, where is the bio lab? Du, 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 du. Bio lab. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Come on. Okay, we need osmium. We need alloy. And I think I've got everything. We need this. We need osmium. We need alloy. I think that's it, right? Yes, that's awesome. Okay, so I think we want to be able to convert these mushrooms into some kind of plastic. So we're going to need a bio lab for that, of course. So I'm going to grab like a spot where there's four. And I think that's going to be fine. And then hopefully we can build our lab in the space over here. Okay, let's go see. What does that look like? Boom. Uh, I hate that. You know what? I don't like this. What did I just do? 
I just deleted. Oh, God. Come on. No, come on. Now it's not going to be able to connect up there. <laughs> yeah, let's delete this thing first. Oh, this. Why did this have to become like such a mission? Okay. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to grab this too. Where else are these ladders? Yeah, take you away. Let's put you on top there. Oh my goodness. What a mission. Okay, um, I need to make sure about the positioning of this thing now. Oh, that's if I can actually get up. Well, finally. Okay. So, yeah, we can start building this in here. But, yeah, I don't know which side is the computer monitor. I think that's right. I'm not, I'm not sure. Let's, ju let's check it out. <laughs> Please be right. Yes. Okay, perfect. So, that's nice. We can be right here and... I don't know, we can start making our bioplastic nuggets. We're also going to need water and silicon and all that. But yeah, a couple other things we need to put in the base. Okay, so another thing that we need to do is actually deconstruct this teleporter. Because uh, we kind of... We, well, I suppose we need to put it in the mushroom base. Well, in the big mushroom base. <laughs> Not this mushroom base. Uh, so that's basically everything I need. We can also uh, deconstruct this farm and put that farm down there somewhere. So yeah, anyway. So yeah, we can do that in the future. We can move that other farm there. But for now, I definitely want to be able to put the... Hmm, the teleporter. But now it's to where? Where am I actually going to put the teleporter? Uh, I guess I'm going to put it in this corner. I'll put a couple of signs around so that I know which way I'm coming out and in. But yeah, it looks like a kind of central spot. Yes love this like pink glow that's like coming inside of the base obviously that's because we're in the mushroom cave but yeah i absolutely love the lighting so okay we got those things oh and what else can we build uh, we need uh one of these recycling machines so i guess we can just plant this uh right uh, over here kind of like that yes okay that's good we got all of that going now, the only other thing left to do is to actually deconstruct this whole thing. Okay, so I really like the inside of this space so far. I think that this thing looks really cool. I like the fact that we've got like all of these things like kind of like anchored around the window. I know that took a little bit of a while to get that right, <laughs> but eventually I got there. And then this will be like, well, this will be the beginning of our main storage. We can actually, no, we got the teleporter on this side. So this will be filled with a whole bunch of mushrooms. Actually, I'm going to get like a signboard that just says mushrooms over here. We can maybe use this space, try and curve it around, and maybe this space too to put a whole bunch of mushrooms. But I think this is going to kind of be enough space for now. Yes, absolutely love it. Okay, so the last thing I want to do is uh, build my bean. Well, not the bean, that we're outdoor farm and we can actually build our beans because we're going to need some food while we're here. Let's see, can we, oh, I guess we can't squeeze it in these. Maybe if we get it, no. Unfortunately, just not flush. I didn't make them like very well. So I guess I'm going to have to put one over here. I'll just jump over it if I come down. 
yeah, that's going to be okay. Anyway, so we got that for now. Let's uh, go and put our, sp oh, our seed in there. And that's it. So we should be able to have food. Oh, yes. We're going to need to get a lab going. So I'm going to have to get something to suck up some water. So I'm going to go get a couple of uh, materials so I can make one of... Uh, which one is it? I need the water collector. Let's see. Um, why can't... Oh, there it is. I'm going to need bioplastic nuggets. Can you believe it? Yeah, at least I can make that... Well, if I... <laughs> that's if I have water. Uh, okay, I'm going to go get that materials back at main base. Okay, and I'm back from my excursion. Uh, let's see, maybe we can put them... Well, I want them like as accessible as possible. Why do I always lose it? Oh, there it is. Come on. I guess... Uh, no, you know what? It doesn't have to be so far out. It can actually be like much closer to the deck here. So we're just going to maybe put one like that and another one right there. So that's kind of like easy access. Just come and grab water when I need. Nice. Okay, so we got like water going. We got food going. We've got mushrooms going. And this whole base is going. Nice. Oh, wait. Uh, We need to put in a couple of ladders here. Actually, you know what? We can actually use it for like some more storage. We can just use them for like storage containers. But overall, wow, I really look like the look of this base. I really dig the look. It looks awesome. This massive mushroom. Let's see, what does it look like from up there? Uh, come on. I want to jump up on there. I can't really see it very well. Maybe we can get up on this one. There we go. Not bad. I really like the look of this thing. It's cool. The only thing is I do see one of the larvae and it's on top of this. So I might just actually put in a central ladder that actually allows me to get access to the roof. Actually, let's go and do that right now before I forget about that. We can just quickly grab a cobalt. We need one, two, three. I'm gonna three of these and three, three iron, I think. Yes. I mean, all these, uh, well, I put a couple of like these butterfly farms around just to kind of like add a little bit more aesthetic around the base. Looks really cool. We got like all these mushrooms growing. We got all these like butterflies flying around. And then we've got our giant mushroom. <laughs> a giant mushroom base. I love it. This base definitely, it, it turned out cool. I like the fact that we've got this lab. I'm definitely going to be adding a lot of like containers. And look at this. We've got a butterfly inside. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, these things are all going to get filled up in the future. I need to start harvesting and doing all of that stuff. And then we're going to need a lot of things like we at least we got like water being made. And we're going to need to get like a whole bunch of silicon materials as like backup. So that we can create all the bioplastic nuggets that we need. Oh yes. So guys, that brings me on to the end of another episode. I know that I haven't posted a video in quite a while. Just been very busy at work, but I'm definitely going to get back into the flow of things. So you guys can expect a couple of videos coming soon. Anyway, guys, until next time, you guys know what to do. Peace out.